Okay, welcome back. Peace be unto you. This is the number 19 series. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video on how I've set up the database, which underpins the rest of this, these videos in this series, really, uh, it's important if you can go to the link below and watch that database setup. If you're happy to come along for the journey, I'm quite, you know, quite comfortable in explaining things along the way as well, but it's, um, it'll really help you in understanding what we're trying to do here. Now, the this particular one we're taking the very first revelation quite aptly appropriately um, and putting it to this inquiry people have made certain claims about the number 19 in the quran and uh, throughout the quran so one of the claims is to do with the first revelation and obviously subsequently the second revelation the last revelation and things like that so uh, without further ado let's go and come along for the journey i'll make it as simple as possible now it won't be heavy you know it um, but if you've got the background it helps but if you don't it'll just be as easy hang in there okay so sql basically stands for structured query language it's just the way computers do stuff in terms of you know when you have a database in the back it, you know you want to do an inquiry you may find your everyday experience where we use natural language imagine talking to siri and saying hey siri make a call to somebody or hey siri uh, give it a direction it takes you somewhere the software then turns that natural language into a structured query and does processing in the background and then depending on what you've said it works out that you want to make a call it makes a call for you or if you want to go somewhere it actually directs you so it's just you know behind the scenes that what software does now, uh, my, my approach here is basically there's no pulling wool over, over anyone's um, eyes or over their head. I don't want that done to me, and I'm not going to do that to anybody else. So no smoke and mirrors. It's purely technology-based, software-based inquiry on these claims. Now, the first revelation, chapter 96, is Surah Al-Alaq. Um, it is positioned there. It's obviously not the first um chapter in the Quran because the revelation order and the book form order are two different things you know you can do your research on that but that's just the way from a traditional and from a historical point of view that's how it has been now the five claims on the number 19 related to the first revelation we will do this in this video and along the way if I do see some particular patterns or other things other nuances or other um, pattern patterns or um, you know um, um, you know certain certain phenomena emerge i will bring it to um and, and record it and show it along the way now if like i said before if you haven't seen my video please go and have a look at the sql setup video which is really good to help you understand the entity relationship diagram that i have used erd uh, of the quran which is basically um the underpinning of how through technology we can do these uh, inquiries now, the first revelation, chapter 96, um, what are the claims? Now, I'm going to show you a book here. It's by Dr. Rashid Khalifa, PhD, uh, Imam Mosque of Tucson, Arizona, USA. And that's what the back says. I'll read it to you. Presenting examinable, verifiable, and utterly irrefutable evidence that Quran is God's message to the world. So he obviously makes um, quite a number of uh, claims and then goes through it and presents in a very visual way. Um, the uh, Dr. Rashid Khalifa, you can research on him. He's no longer with us. He's, I'm not uh, a follower or a particular fan, but um, I, I do take anyone's claims and I will work on them. He has done, uh, he was probably a pioneer in this, in this space um, several decades ago. Now, the claims that he has got over here that are presented in a tabular form um, is the first Quranic revelation consists of 19 words. So we're looking at the first five um, verses. They say the claim is it consists of 19 words. Now, 19, that's a t totally, totally different topic. I'll do another piece on that. You can do a research. There's some numerology, some particular, you know, um, you know, uh, uniqueness about it it's the seventh prime number um and there's other some you know the it is a power number so and um you can watch my other video about why 19 um is being highlighted here it's probably one of the base numbers in the quran that people are attesting to seven is another one 114 
which is obviously the number of chapters, uh, which itself is divisible by 19, by the way. Um, so the second claim here is that the Quranic revelation, so the first Quranic revelation, consists of 19 by n letters. So it's a multiple of 19. Okay, the third one is the first Quranic chapter, which is the entire chapter 96, consists of 19 verses. Interesting, it gets more, slightly more complex, but um, again, the, the, the code seems to be holding itself, in the claim at least. The first Quranic chapter revealed consists of total word count, that is a multiple of 19. So the total number of words in the chapter 96 is a multiple of 19. Okay, that's different to verses, different to letters. Now, claims 5 and 6 are not made in the book. I have just saw something and I've um, picked up on this, that the first Quranic revelation chapter minus 1, so 1 being that it is the first revelation, is a multiple of 19. Not significant in, in the essence of the first four claims, but nonetheless, I, I thought I'd highlight that. The, the sixth claim is the first Quranic revelation chapter. Chapter 19 is placed 19 from the end of the Quran. So this is something I've noticed, and I'll, I'll show you that I, if I can prove this or not. The seventh claim made in the book by uh, Dr. Rashid Khalifa, and you can find other articles on the web, um, YouTube even. The first Quranic chapter consists of 19 by N letters. So the entire chapter 96 consists of a total of 19 times n letters i.e it's a multiple of 19 so that's what the task looks like for us so in the next step what we'll do is like i said before if you haven't seen my demo of how i've set up the database um, please have a look at this video um, you can even go and watch it afterwards it will make more sense and um, here we go so what we'll do i'll switch now to sql and i will start by showing you the, the sql files that i've got so let's just quickly do a metadata check right so the database i've got here is called q and it's got a number of tables which contain um, an entity modeled i'll show you a diagram quickly if you haven't watched the video um, that's what the diagram looks like. It's basically uh, an entity relationship, as you would see in a you know customer service management or a customer relationship management or a payroll system. You know the entities are chapters, verses, words, characters, which is the alphabets. Um, there's a revelation city for each of the chapters. There are some aggregate tables that I use for the words and the uh, the alphabets. The, the um, characters in the Quran, right? That's just the model. Um, obviously, there's relationships, one to many, one chapter has many verses, that kind of idea, right? But please go watch the other video, it'll make more sense. Right, so this metadata check, basically all we do is I'll run it and then I'll explain to you. Okay, it's run and it's given us some data here. So what are we doing? Okay, so, and this is where I was, you know, giving that Siri example, bear with me. So I'll explain this. What we're doing is selecting all the rows from the um, we're selecting the uh, chapter 96 um, chapter row from the chapter table so there's 114 chapters there'll be one row for chapter 96 then you can see that it's chapter 96 and uh, the arabic name is al alaq um, and that's a few other metadata about this chapter so you can see how many words how many um, this is my aggregate that i run after um in revelation order as you can see is the first um, chapter revealed now the second query is basically let's view chapter 96 all its verses right in without the verse zero which is basically the bismillah which is the bismillah at the beginning of every chapter except chapter nine there's a um, another piece i'll do on that now the chapter, uh, the verses in this obviously go from 1 till 19, as you can see, and uh, it starts with the famous Iqra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq, which is to proclaim, read, read in the name of thy Lord, and Ersha and Sustainer, who has created you, right? So that's chapter 96, just a quick overview of the metadata, that chapter. Now, I have got other queries that we will run. 
Now the first check we will do, remember there's seven checks that we're doing, right? So the first one here is the first Quranic revelation consists of 19 words. Now how do we verify that? We go and, and we've done this before, but I'll do it again. So that's the metadata of that chapter. So you get one row and it tells you everything about that chapter. But what about the, the claim? You say the first Quranic revelation consists of 19 words. Okay, we scroll down to my first query here. Let's run that. You can see what I've done is basically I'm showing you um, the word count of that chapter of that uh, chapter. I'm limiting it to chapter 96, first five verses only. I'm grouping it by that chapter, and I'm also doing a division here by 19.0 because if I just do 19, it does a whole number division. So just to make sure that people Notice that I'm trying to show you that I'm not trying to get a, um, you know, a mo modular divide. I'm doing a float divide. So you can see exactly the chapter 19 does have 19 words. It is divisible, obviously, clearly by 19. And that's that one row. So that's the first claim done. Okay, let's go to the second claim. So I'll open the second file. This is how we'll go. This is sort of the cadence we'll have. Now, the second claim is the first Quranic Revelation consists of 19 by n words, i.e. it's a multiple of 19, right? So um, Also, just note that on the uh, Alan San, which is basically humankind um, the spelling for that is um, Alif Lam, Alif Nun, Sin, Nun and there's in, in the written form there's a um, There's no Alif here Okay now, what we're doing here is let's have a look at the first five verses. Okay, and we did a letter count. As you can see, um, I've done a sum of the characters count as letter count, and I've also done a division by 19.0. You can see that chapter 96 has 76 letters, and obviously it's divisible by 19 by a whole number, exactly four. So that first part is true. Let's go to, let's verify the claim again in a different way. And I have some um, user defined functions here, which basically look at the length of the Arabic characters. Um, and also to double check, I also use the English letter count, which is the transliteration of the Arabic text. And then we're doing it obviously specifically on the first five verses of chapter 96, right? Very simple run that once again um, we have done this before that 76 is um, divisible by 19 which is the result from up uh, further up okay now let's review the actual rows count by actual verses so we'll do another run and you can see that that's the sum of each of the letters um, in each of the first five verses and that is what is adding up to that number that we had in the first query, which was that 76, right? Again, run that. The 76, as you know, is divisible by 19. Interesting. Okay. Um, and another final check. There you go. Um, I've run a, I have a char count table, which is basically an aggregate table that I uh, showed before, which basically crawls and scans through the database and um, keeps a um, running total of all the um, um, you know characters in a, in a chapter in a verse and all that and so we are saying for that table the aggregate table please go ahead and return to me the sum of the count of the Arabic letters uh, in chapter 96 and guess what you end up with 17 and we know as before um, that 17 is so those are the four queries as you can see one 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 ran five uh, four queries sorry and that's the result set so clearly that phenomenon is true now let's go back to uh, our third 
query. Now, in this case, what are we doing? The fact that we're trying to validate the first Quranic chapter consists of 19 verses this time, right? The entire chapter consists of 19 verses. Is it true? Run the query, all of it, and I can see, oops, run that again. Right, so it does return some 19s in here. So what have we done? Go. First thing first, I'm selecting the verse count from the chapters table, which is the aggregate field in that. And voila, nice and simple. This is easy. You can you know visually verify that you don't have to run a query, but we have done it. So again, I am now using the verses table. Of course, I'm not counting verse zero, which is the Bismillah, which is like a silent Bismillah. Um, and, and, not counted as a verse apart from chapter one verse one which is the bismillah in every other verse it's actually the verse zero so i'm excluding that you can see in the verses table as well as the chapters table i am validating um, multiple ways to verify sometimes i'll run a query in different tables to get the um, you know confidence that we are on the right track and the third one is so that and see all the verses listed down. So I'm not excluding anything other than saying chapter 96, give me all the verses except for verse zero. And you will see the message should be 19 rows. And if we scroll at the results, you can see from Iqra Bismi Rabbik Aladhi Khalaq to Kalala Tatla, right? Um, so that's what should what Tarib. So that's the 19 verses in the chapter 96 that's also so far so good now uh, there was something i wanted to do on words but that wasn't a claim so i left it alone let's go and look at my effect 101 e which basically now says the first quranic revelation chapter minus one is a multiple of 19. this is something that i just stumbled upon it's not a claim as i noted it here Okay, but let's just run it. What are we doing here? So it says, if you take the chapter number and take away one, chapter al alak and divide it by nine, 19, you actually get a whole number five. Is again, divisible by 19. Uh, and another way to verify that obviously is to, um, look at the verses table right i'm using chapters over here but over here i'm using the first table but both same results okay on to the next one we're getting pretty close and you get the idea now in this one the this is another claim the first quranic chapter revealed is chapter 19 is placed 19 from the end of the quran so it kind of plays on that idea that this was first and it's sitting 19 from the back of the Quran. It's um, kind of reverse logic, but it is presented in the book as physical fact number six on pages 14 to 16. And this book by Dr. Rashid Khalifa. So what are we going to do? There's two ways to do it. To try and work out a position, you actually subtract the maximum chapter number. That will obviously naturally be 114. Take away 96 plus one, that's your position, right? Run that query. And you can see it actually does set at number 19. Another easy, simple way to double check that is you basically, I'm doing a top 19 from the back, right? In descending order, uh, show me the uh, top 19 chapters from the back of the chapters table. So let's run that. Here we go. And you will see the messages should be 19. But interestingly enough, you can see that chapter 114 is a nas. Work your way back. The 96th chapter is al alak and its position is exactly 19. So that's another one of those claims verified that the, uh, the, uh, re the first Quranic revelation chapter, chapter 96, is placed 19 from the back of the Quran. Right. Um, now the last one, this is a little bit more interesting. It really is about letters of the entire, as, as the Arab would call it, Mumtaz, you know, amazing. So the, this claim is physical fact number seven in the book, page 17. Now, how do we do this? It's very simple. I've got obviously that, um, 
you know the character count table that I've got as an aggregate but I'll use a number of different tables to verify first of all I'm going to use the verse table all I'm saying here is that aggregate field in in the verse table uh, let's get a letter count there's a sum of that and we're going to do a little div here to show you that uh, is it or is it not a multiple of 19 we always exclude the verse 0 which is the basam bismillah verse in um, almost all the chapters except for the first chapter which is the first verse and also chapter 9 which doesn't have a bismillah well actually that interesting concept around the missing bismillah will hopefully do a video to prove or disprove if, if there is a particular phenomenon with the bismillah given that one of the bismillahs is missing right okay bang straight on the mark um letter count is 285 which is divisible by 19 right again once again we're using the al insan version felt like that not like that um and i verify that the number of quran is actually written like this um so that's a happy camper there so the second way to verify this same phenomenon is to then use use the um what do I use over here versus chapter now I'm going to actually run my stored procedure which actually counts the length of the Arabic characters and there's another one that just does the English letter count which is the translated transliterated form let's run that once again you still get 285 which is the number we got before remember if uh, which is divisible by 19 um, which was this one here run it again okay I've only done the division there you can see 285 and there's a div of that and you get exactly 15 you can do it on your calculator divide 285 by 15 see what you get exactly the same result we got using a different method now obviously it just signifies that my english and arabic letter counts um, are matching up and now a third way of doing this is to um, use the char count table which is again my aggregate crawling function which goes scans through the entire Quran and comes up with all the letters and which positions they are on and does a count on them so I'm taking a count of that Arabic letter uh, of all letters um, and chapter number 96 excluding verse 0 grouping about chapter number and again 285 which is divisible by 19 and a further another way to do it is i'm going to actually show you a little bit more by inner joining the word table with the word count table um, so that you can see what exactly is going in here okay so you can see that um these are the num these are the letters so ikra the first word has four characters in them and these are this is what i'm telling up all of these words that have a certain number of letters in them that's what the 285 results in okay so that is the claim the last one done so going back to our presentation so we've done the demo did we prove or disprove did we, did we claim or did we did we verify or did we debunk? What did we do? So facts three to seven are in the book. Um, if you have access to this book, um, you can check them. We have actually verified all the green ones are the ones that are in the book. The two blue ones are just something that I came up with just additionally that sort of came up as a pattern in my head when I was looking at these. Uh, clearly all 100% verified, okay? So, that's um, quite amazing. I think there's some simple ones in there that, you know, um, you know, th this is obviously there's a linguistic aspect to it. This is one layer. I think the Quran is multifold and this is just my early sort of observation. There are mo a lot of things in there. Mathematics is just one aspect of it. This my claim or my verification here is not to focus on the spirit and the message, but also saying there's another layer. There's, you know, people claim about scientific miracles about scientific phenomena we're looking at patterns and mathematical um layer over here and if you like linguistic you can watch uh sheikh uh, numan ali khan he, he does um, that ring pattern and all that my verification here is i'm um, just you know other people's work and i'm just going okay can sql be used to verify it and right now 
I can say that all of those on the first revelation, chapter 96, the first five verses, has a particular encoding around 19. The entire chapter um, 96, which is 19 verses, also has an encoding on 19. Now, which is basically the conclusion um, that we have arrived at. Now, having done this, what's next? So naturally, I believe we will be doing the flip side of it. Let's look at the last Quranic revelation. So what was the last chapter revealed or the last verses revealed? And does that uphold any um, mathematics or numerology around the number 19? And just a note around the word um humankind a lot of um sort of more misogynist translators are using the word men we're getting away from that i think in in, um, in modern times the word actually is humankind so it's referring to all um you know it's not gender biased but the spelling that i've used which is basically verified in um, quran is that version just in case people are going why have you used the other version um, that's not my work so that's the conclusion now um, so if you liked this video and you like the method that I'm taking, please give it a like, um, kind of gives, you know, uh, makes me feel good that I should continue doing this. If, um, if you have any feedback or questions, you know, in a respectful, respectful way, please position it to me. If you want me to do any other things that you are quite interested in, it'd be, um, things that you've always wondered, uh, is it possible? Can you do a word check on this or can you do some analytics on um, you know, most occurring verses or words and stuff like that. We've got all the data there now. So I'm quite happy to do that. Obviously, I have my own track running that I'm going to um, go through all these um, various, uh, you know, checks in, in the book by Rashad Khalifa. Um, plus, next, I'm also looking at doing some work that Bini Maad, one of the, uh, I think, is a Kuwaiti-based um, um, gentleman who's um, done some other phenomenon. I'm going to try and either verify or, um, you know, check them. Um, yes, we're all here to learn, and um, my channel is I Reason, Therefore I Am. That's the end of this. Um, peace be unto you. See you next time.